Where were you on the night your brother's candy disappeared? I was in my bedroom. Doing what? I ask. Eating, he says. What were you eating? I ask. Candy, he says. This is Timmy Failure. This is Timmy Failure, Mistakes Were Made, by Stefan Pastis. It was published by Candlewick Press in 2013. It is about a young boy called Timmy Failure. His school, his, uh, best friend, Rollo Tukas, and his polar bear called Total. Every day, Timmy runs his detective agency, Total Failure, Inc., which helps other children to solve mysteries such as who stole Gunner's Halloween sweets or how did Max's hamster die. One day, Timmy's Segway, the Failure Mobile, which actually belongs to his mother, disappears and Timmy suspects Karina Karina, a girl who sits at his table at school. Will Timmy crack the case and become a multi-millionaire detective? Read Timmy Failure, Mistakes Were Made, to find out. I'll be honest, I wasn't really, really crazy about this book, Timmy Failure. The good things are that it has an anti-hero, and it's always quite fun to read about an anti-hero. It's definitely very imaginative and some of the pictures and ideas are pretty funny, to be honest. And it deals with some things that children, maybe of your age or a little older, might have to deal with, such as absent parents, um, perhaps a mum or a dad getting a, a new partner, things like that. Those are the good things. What I didn't like so much were First of all, it's really full of a lot of difficult words. And these difficult words are part of Timmy's character. He speaks like an adult, even though he doesn't really act like one. In addition, there are a lot of jokes which I think are just in there for adults. If your grown-up is reading this book to you, maybe they will find it funny, but I'm not sure that you would find it funny. There are also a lot of references to things that I think only adults would get or would find funny. I mean, there's references to Bob Dylan, to Terminator 2, to Bob Dylan again, to A Streetcar Named Desire, more Bob Dylan. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Bob Dylan, but I'm not sure that 11-year-old children still love Bob Dylan. In fact, this whole book is one big joke about the fact that he speaks in a very complicated adult way. He wants to be a great detective, but actually he's not a very good detective. And I'm not sure that most children reading this book would really understand that joke. Just imagine this scene. Hey, Daddy, can you read me this book? Sure, son. What follows next is so aggravating to my professional sensibilities that I hesitate to include it in this book. It demonstrates how even a brilliantly conceived plan such as this can be decimated by the bumblings of a moronic amateur. Anyway, this is just my opinion. Why don't you listen and read along as I read an extract, see how many of the words you know, and see whether you think this would be an interesting book for you to read. I look at the tabletop. I can tell from the empty space that it is gone. Nothing there. He starts listing the candy he had in the pumpkin. Two Mars bars, a Twix, seven Three Musketeers, five Kit Kats, eleven Almond Joys, five Snickers, an Abba Zabba, and eight Hershey's Kisses. Gunnar looks up at me. You're getting all this down? 
course I'm getting it down. Candy gun. Let's start with the basics, I tell the client, like payment. I take cash, checks, and credit cards. I don't actually take credit cards, but it sounds professional, so I say it. How much will it cost? Asks the client. Four dollars a day plus expenses. Expenses? Asks Gunner. Chicken nuggets for the big man, I say, pointing up at Total. Total roars, which looks intimidating until he falls backwards and crushes Gunner's desk. That, I know, will be coming out of his chicken nuggets. I tell Gunner that I anticipate a six-week investigation, lots of witnesses, maybe some air travel. I'll show myself out, I tell him. As I walk down the hall, I pass his brother Gabe's room. Gabe is sitting on his bed, surrounded by candy wrappers. There is chocolate smeared all over his face and an empty plastic pumpkin on the floor. Always on the lookout for clues, I make an important note in my detective log. Gabe, not tidy. This book is 50% easy to read and 50% very difficult. I would recommend it to boys and girls who enjoy reading about anti-heroes, but not to anyone who is just starting to read chapter books in English. Having said that, there are lots of other books in the series, the website looks pretty fun, and a movie has just been released with a realistic polar bear. Mr. O just about approves of Timmy Failure, Mistakes Were Made. <laughs>